Hello everybody, Alice Motion here, and welcome back to another LEGO video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a bit of a LEGO room tour. I do these videos about once a year, and I think it's about time I make my next one. A lot of things have changed since then, and I have a lot of new LEGO sets to show you guys, and just a lot of new kind of sorting techniques that I have. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. We're going to start off with this kind of wall shelf area here. This hasn't really changed too much since the last room tour, but I do have a complete wall of Steve's. This is where I put all my LEGO Minecraft Steve figures. Well, most of them. I still have a lot more than that, but it's just a nice spot to put my LEGO Minecraft Steve's. I think it looks funny. You can also see paints kind of pulled off where I used to have previous tape. And the Steve's are basically just surveying the area, so if anything bad happens, Steve will be watching. So be very careful, kids. But the shelves here, I have nine of them. This is kind of where I put my kind of like structure builds, mainly from Star Wars. I have the bottom area here with some episode four sets. Up here, we have some episode five sets. And then up on the top here, we have the Indiana Jones, uh, I think it's a lost temple, or I don't even know. I haven't even watched Indiana Jones before. We also have Yoda's hut, and as well as Hagrid's hut, which is one of my few Lego Harry Potter sets. But yeah, that little wall there, You gonna interrupt when I'm trying to film video strips? That's kind of rude. Moving on over here at the back of my bed, I have a bit of kind of random builds. We have two airplane builds. Over here we have the pirate roller coaster. We have a few other builds kind of inside of it. Over here we have this little creator boat, as well as this little Atlantis kind of sub. Down here we have a bunch of different city stuff. We have some fire trucks in here, a few other kind of construction vehicles, just a bunch of random kind of car build. Over here we have my fireboat set, very nice set, as well as the little fairy set. And then over here we have the chum bucket, which is my one and only SpongeBob set. Moving on down here, we have a few more kind of the smaller stuff. Oh my gosh, stripes. But yeah, the small shelf here doesn't really have too much, just a few of the kind of smaller creator builds and stuff like that. But yeah, it's kind of where I put the smaller sets. So that's kind of that little section, not too much of the interesting stuff. But when we move on over here, we get to see both my LEGO Star Wars collection as well as my LEGO Minecraft collection. Starting off in the Star Wars collection, we can see a bunch of my smaller LEGO Star Wars sets. We have a bunch of the prequel themed builds here. Down here we have a few more of this random builds. We have Darth Vader Transformation, the original kind of Jedi dual set with the old looking Palpatine. Looking very scary, it looks kind of like a grandma. Down here we have kind of a Hoth themed shelf. Down here we have a bunch of micro fighter builds as well as kind of battle packs. We also have Ray's speeder. Here we have a few more of the random builds. We have three 501st sets. We also have the 501st speeders. We also have a couple droids there. As well as one of my first Lego Star Wars sets I've ever got, the droid escape pod. But yeah, that's kind of the smaller Star Wars shelf. But if we move on over here, we have a bunch of the bigger sets as well as the Minecraft sets. The shelves here I'm using are kind of ladder shelf designs. I built these with my dad in the fall. Very, very happy with the looks of these. These weren't here last year in my last room tour, but they work very nicely for holding Lego sets, and I think they work very nice, and they look very nice as well. They both match, they're both the same size. The Star Wars shelf has a bunch of my bigger stuff. We have the Tanta 4, one of my favorite Lego sets in my collection. We have Kylo Ren's shuttle. We have the new at, -AT. Down here on the second shelf, we have a bunch of TIE Fighters, as well as one of the Slave Ones. On this shelf here, we have um, the Razor Crest, very nice build, as well as two different X-Wings, the BB-8, as well as an A-Wing and a Snow Speeder. And on this shelf here, we have the 2008 or 2009 V-19 turret, very cool set. We also have the 2010 Slave One, we have the 2002 Jedi Starfighter, we also have the 2018 or 16 or 17 Y-Wing. I don't really know when that one's from, but it's a very nice build. We also have the 2015 uh, Millennium Falcon, 2010 Luke's Land Speeder, 2000 uh, Desert Skiff, which is my oldest LEGO set in my collection, Jabba Sail Barge, as well as a bunch of Endor-themed sets. So that's kind of my Star Wars shelves. I actually have a huge LEGO Star Wars collection. Don't really make any Star Wars videos, but if you guys want to see those, let me know in the comment section down below, because. I would gladly like to open up to Star Wars stuff as well as Minecraft, but yes, yeah, it's kind of my Star Wars collection I've been kind of collecting over the past few years. Over here, we have the sets that you guys all love, the Lego Minecraft sets. This is on the identical ladder shelf. I have a lot of my favorite Lego sets up here. I don't have all of them. Oh yeah, by the way, I have every single Lego Star Wars set in my collection built, and I have no Lego Star Wars sets that have been taken apart. This is every single Lego Star Wars set I own. 
But for Minecraft, most of them are taken apart, but here are all my favorite ones, the ones I kind of wanted to keep together. We have the Nether Fortress up there, as well as the uh, brand new Warped Forest set. We have the kind of cave-themed builds, look very nice. Down here I have a bunch of farm-themed builds, like the chicken coop, the sheep farm, the pig farm, and the bee farm as well as the 2014 farm and first night build. Down here we got a few more random things. We have the ocean monument and we also have the kind of end theme sets and also we have the kind of dungeon set back there. Down here we have my biggest Lego set in my whole collection, the mountain cave. I really love this build. I think it's a great set. Got it pretty recently and I don't regret buying it. I think it's a great build. On the bottom shelf, I have a few of my bigger sets like the fortress. We also have the creeper mine, the illager raid, and my favorite LEGO Minecraft set of all time, the Village. So yeah, it fits very nicely on the shelf there. But yeah, those are kind of the ladder shelf builds. I think they look very, very nice. And I think they're definitely a nice kind of way to sort my LEGO. Moving on next to the shelves, this is actually something I forgot to show you guys in the past like 80,000 room tour videos. This is where I keep my LEGO boxes. These are ginormous sliding doors mainly for storage, but on this specific door here, this is my own area to store my own stuff. So what I store in here is all of my Lego boxes. We have a bunch of my kind of bigger and more special Lego boxes up at the top there. We have a whole bunch of Minecraft sets, a few more of the newer sets, and a bunch of my Star Wars boxes, as well as instructions. I kind of have them sorted by theme. I have Lego Star Wars books, like a Minecraft books and basically any other theme. So Brickheads, City, Creator, you name it, all there. Down here, I actually have this kind of bin here that kind of has a few random pieces in it. I have a bunch of lamps there, which I use for my reviews. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. Moving on, we have the Lego Minecraft world slash organizer bins. First thing you really notice is the pillager outpost is destroyed. I am sorry, JL Studios. Uh, I accidentally bumped into this earlier and yeah, it's kind of broken. I kind of need to rebuild it, but this is like the third time I bumped it. It's in, I put it in the worst location. But yeah, here is the Lego Minecraft build. Very nice centerpiece. I think it looks very nice in the kind of middle of my room. When you walk through the door, the first thing you really see here is the Lego Minecraft world. And yeah, just very happy with the looks of this build. There's no updates to it since the last update video, except if you were to include the pillager outpost. Now underneath the Lego Minecraft build, is all of my sorted Lego pieces. This is kind of how I sort my Lego pieces. Most people may sort them by color, but I actually sort them by shape. I find it a lot easier to find the parts if you do that. But I have a bunch of these organizers just sorting my different pieces just, yeah, just by shape, not by color. Looks a little bit messier when you're farther away, but finding pieces is so much easier when you kind of sort it like this. A few other things are sorted differently, like the tiles, they're sorted by color, not shape. Not everything is sorted. Uh, just by shape, but here's all my minifigure parts, minifigure accessories, animal builds, and then down here just more bricks just sorted by shape. That's kind of how I sort those there. I also have this here, which is where I keep most of my Technic pieces. And then down here, this is kind of how I sort my kind of smaller um, amounts of pieces that don't really need a big organizer, but still need to be separated. For example, we could take out this bin here, which carries a bunch of bags of just smaller amounts of pieces. We have all these kind of stem builds, little flower shaped pieces, switch pieces, little uh, spring loaded lasers, and yeah, just a bunch of smaller pieces that kind of need to be sorted but don't really have space or a bin to put them in. Great way to sort your pieces. A little more annoying when you're trying to grab pieces, but yeah, it's kind of how I sort my pieces there. But also I have a bin of old gray. Just I just want to keep that separate from the bluish gray. We also have some of the kind of plant pieces. And moving on back here, we have this Lego Minecraft organizer, which specifically carries Lego Minecraft stuff, like right here, all of my items. We have torches, we have kind of crafting tables, TNT and stuff like that. Down here we have kind of like natural stuff, like ores and fire pieces. And on the bottom here we have doors, beds, boats, all that kind of stuff. It kind of sits on top of these bins here, which are larger versions of the smaller ones, but this time with bigger bags of pieces. So we have like transparent slopes. We have, yeah, just a bunch of those kind of bracket pieces. But yeah, that's kind of how I sort that stuff there for the bigger parts. If we move on over here, you can actually pass the nether build, which looks very nice underneath the Lego Minecraft world. But if you move on over here, we have a bunch of other random looking organizers. We have a bunch of kind of the pieces I don't really use a lot. We also have figures like that. Just a bunch of normal Lego mini figures. Lego Minecraft figures. 
and a few more kind of Lego Minecraft themed kind of bigger builds. Here we have Technic all in these drawers here. And then also kind of circular shaped pieces, kind of like these sloped kind of plates. This section here isn't as nicely sorted, but still does its job, still easy for me to find pieces. If we move on over here, we actually have a few more ways of sorting. I have one of these organizers, which just has a bunch of different pieces that have a smaller amount of. And then these giant organizers have bigger pieces that have bigger quantities, like these kind of kind of one by pieces here. We have a bunch of the two by plates. Any plate that is bigger than a two by plate, we have two by fours and basically any two by brick. And then down here, just a bunch of bags and kind of more storage for other pieces like that. Behind the Lego Minecraft display, we have a few more shelves with more kind of sets. We have the Hogwarts Express build. We have this custom airplane, some cars sets. And finally, my sealed set collection. I have a bunch of poly bags there, a bunch of promos, just a bunch of sealed builds. Uh, there's not too many bigger sets here, but we have the Anakin versus Obi-Wan battle on uh, Mustafar set, Endor promo, Stormtrooper dropship, Hoth promo, a couple city sets, Minecraft uh, Taiga adventure, and a little bit of an Easter promo. So got a bunch of these smaller builds there that I'm kind of keeping just for collection purposes. Don't really need to build those at any point. This thing here is actually what I use for a lot of my older videos. It's actually a huge black backdrop. Just a huge black paper. If you pull it down, it'll just have a nice black background. Over here, we have a table as well as the Throne of Stripes. We have a couple Lego posters. And then over here, we have my computer desk. I kind of collect a few iPhones. I have a couple of phones here. We have an iPod Touch, iPhone 4, iPhone 6. Got a few more iPhone 6s up there. Got an iPad, my old iPhone there. I kind of like collecting Apple products, so that's what I have there. I also have a bit of a computer desk here. This is where I do all my gaming and stuff like that. But I do have the brick heads kind of displayed down there. We have this very nice microphone, as well as a few of my Apple boxes. You can see a few of my kind of stray Lego Star Wars figures. These ones, that, these are just figures that don't have a home. And this is kind of where I store them. And then we also have, the to finish it off the Fat West build. But that should be it for the room tour video. Hopefully I was able to cover everything in the video. But yeah, that is basically it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in another room tour next year.